Well, this gold and the purple really make a very striking combination, and it's a good combination for your landscape, too. And you'll remember that last week we gave you a list of purple plants and kind of hinted that we'd give you a list of yellow plants this week. And one of our favorite yellow plants is this ornamental sweet potato, and it's called margarita. It's a very beautiful color of kind of yellow, almost green, and it's a very showy plant. It has a little bit more of a compact growth habit than our purple sweet potato does, but it is doing very well. It likes the heat, and it can go from partial shade to full sun and do very well for your landscape. We have another ground cover that works very well, and that is the money wart. And this is a yellow money wart. The cultivar is Aria, and it is a very fast growing ground cover. You can plant this and it will cover a very large area in a short time. Now this is a plant that likes a moist soil and where the green money wart likes a shady spot, the yellow money wart actually will benefit if you plant it in a partially sunny spot. And you'll notice here that you get a better development of yellow color with a little bit more sun on this plant. Now another great plant that adds some yellow to the landscape is our green dragon sun coleus. And we have this planted in the formal carpet garden in combination with purple fountain grass and it makes a very nice combination. Well in addition to these bedding plants there are several shrubs that also can add some gold color to your landscape. And one of them that we are really excited about this year is this beautiful golden plant that you see here. And this is a Caryopteris. It's Worcestershire gold and this is a new plant that we got from High Country Gardens. They were nice enough to donate this to us and we're very excited about this to see how it does here. It has a beautiful gold color all through the season and as an added bonus later in the summer and through the fall we're going to get those nice blue flowers that um, Caryopteris are famous for and so we're anxious to see that blue and gold combination. Well, there are several other shrubs, and one of the broadleaf evergreens that can add some gold to your landscape is the Acuba japonica. Now, there are several cultivars of this, and we have actually planted variegata in our xeriscape garden here around the barn. This shrub likes the shade, and it's a good plant for the north side of the house. It's very drought tolerant, but it will respond well to a thick mulch to conserve water. Now, if you're looking for something that grows well in the sun, You'll remember that last week we showed you a purple barberry. Well, there are also several cultivars of barberry that are golden in color. This plant is great for a hot, dry area, and actually the more sun the plant gets, the better yellow color that you'll have. Now, spireas are a very good yellow plant. There are several cultivars of those with great yellow color, and one of them that we've used in the rock garden is magic carpet. Now this is a very small cultivar and it's only supposed to reach 12 inches tall and it actually has a kind of a tricolor effect on it. The new foliage comes out and it's red and then it turns to a chartreuse color, finally achieving a nice golden color. One other plant that we've used in the rock garden that's a great plant for yellow color is the golden dwarf Chamaecyparis and this is the cultivar Mops. It grows three to six inches per year and has a globe shape and is a very nice plant for a small location where you want an evergreen. Now these are just a few of the yellow plants that you can use in your landscape, so try these in combination with purple and see the great show that they make. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.